everybody. Happy Monday. Today, I believe, is a Jewish holiday. I think it's Rosh Hashanah. So if you're celebrating, yes, I believe it's Rosh Hashanah, right? But uh, I'm happy uh, everyone's here today. Yom, Yom Kippur? I don't I thought it was some, it says, um, well, maybe it is Yom Kippur. Let's see. I want to make sure I get it right. Yes, it's Yom Kippur. So happy Yom Kippur to everybody. JJ Studios, thank you for just joining. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Steel Curtain, welcome back to a live stream. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is uh, the live stream. Hey, David Cohen, thanks for joining. If you join during a live stream, you get a shout out. Uh, the reason I'm doing an Ask Me Anything today is because it's just been a crazy morning. You know, I gotta get my schedule under control. Um, I had a little bit of a personal issue this morning, which took things, uh, which made me have a little bit of a difficult day. Uh, and I really wanted to finish my Hawkman Tinkerbell video, which I have finished. It's rendering as we speak. I have something I have to handle after the stream, directly after, so I have to be on here at 4.55. Um, you guys are very sweet. Thank you very much. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to jinx myself. Um, uh, let's see here. Dancing Dog 60, I don't know why your comment got flagged. All right, so anyway, um, that's very sweet of you guys to be so understanding, but I got to fix this problem. Uh, but anyway, just a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, and I wanted, and so I wanted to get this video done. So tomorrow, as I, you know, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's another day. So anyway, um, the Tinkerbell video, uh, I'm glad you're looking forward to it, Spencer. The Tinkerbell Hawkman video, so don't ask me about them today. I'm not going to answer any questions about them because my video is going to go up probably at around 6, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard uh, Time. Hey, BitCloud Gaming, that's a great name. I like that. Uh, hey, Juan Gomez, you guys look great. I love everybody. You know, you guys cheer me up. You're so much fun to talk to. Kyle says, just popped in before the first day of my fall quarter of school. Be careful, wear a mask. All right, so you guys can ask me anything you'd like for about 20 minutes. Uh, let's just get right into it, and I'll do shout-outs at the end. At 4.50, I'll do some shout-outs. Let's see here. Uh, World of Devon, I am ready for the Coming to America trailer. It's supposed to hit this week. I'm excited. Hey, uh, Sky the Boss 96 I like your picture. Oh, guys, it's not a big deal. I'm fine. I just had to take care of something personally this morning. I don't want you guys to be worried about me. Devin May, thank you for joining. Matt, thank you for joining. All right, so what are your questions? I didn't see anything about David Lynch. Do you mean Riptide? Do you just mean thoughts on David Lynch in general? Raphael, Chris Evans wasn't on The Boys. That's pretty funny. But I get what you're trying to say. Yeah, Epic Echo. Uh, they have, um, word on the internet is that they've rated the trailer for Coming to America, the sequel, Coming to America. So that means it should be hitting, uh, you know, relatively soon. Hey, Mike, uh, Mike Rowland, thanks for joining. Uh, the Movie Lover says, thoughts on J uh, Javicia Leslie as Batwoman. Uh, I think that I'm so excited for her, and I, I talk a little bit about it in my Hawkman and Tinkerbell video. I'll just say here that she is a gorgeous woman, and I think it's pretty disrespectful and unfortunate how she looks in the Batwoman costume. I'm shocked that they would take that picture and not immediately be like, we need to redesign this costume. What did you guys think of how she looked? Devin May, I've been doing it for a while. I'm pretty, uh, I don't know who asked me that. Peyton asked me how to read all the comments so quickly. Hilarious. I, I, I'm like, oh, I can do it. And I made a mistake. Hey, DP Sleep K3. Yeah, it looked cheap. The wig didn't look good. Oh, Zeester, you don't have Corona. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, the costume just looks awful. It's just really bad. They were like, ooh, what do you guys think? And you're like, are you bragging about that? All right, let's see here. 
Uh, World of Devin, there's no additional news on the Denzel Washington and Julia Roberts movie because no, nothing can shoot right now. So they've closed, I mean, things are starting to shoot slowly, but they have things that stopped shooting that are going back into production first. So um, a lot of things, you know, a lot of things, hey, Robert Mitchell, thanks for joining. A lot of things that have been greenlit during the pandemic are going to take a little bit longer than usual to get moving because of that. Ella says, how's quarantine life? Heard the cases are starting to go up again. Yeah, I talked about it on, uh, yesterday on Movie Math. Uh, I'm really, really careful, knock, you know, knock on wood. Um, you know, I think that we're looking, you know, I think the fall is going to be difficult. So just please be careful, as particularly of indoor activities. That's the other thing. It takes me so much time. Not only do I have to do uh, laundry and dishwasher stuff and everything, but I have to constantly be on the lookout for supplies. And so that takes up like a lot of time, too. Andrew, I don't believe Little Mermaid has started filming just yet. Mika says, what are your thoughts on the Chris Hemsworth Journey Smollett movie uh, for Netflix? Uh, Miles Teller is in that movie as well. Uh, I think that's a fun, that's cer certainly a cast that's going to get people to tune in. And it's from the guy who directed Oblivion and the uh, Tron Legacy. Uh, and he's directing Joseph Kaczynski, and he's doing the new Top Gun. That's a great group of people. I just don't like what the movie's about. It's about like people having like a, or being experimented on, and having nightmares and stuff like that. That sounds a lot like what Journey Smollett's already doing right now in Lovecraft Country. I don't know. It just seems like not as good a use of all those people as I would like. Hey, Daniel Troy, Troy uh, Troiano. But I mean, will it be a hot ticket? Yes, it will. You'll notice that Netflix is closing a lot of deals in particular because they're the only place where you're guaranteed to get your product released anytime soon. Austin says, do you think Warner Brothers will give Journey a second chance at Black Canary since she seems to be so popular right now? Uh, yes, I do. I don't think it's going to be anytime. Pro it might be soon. I mean, I think she's going to have to get a little bit more popular and then they're going to go and do something with her. I think she's doing a great job on Lovecraft Country. I think she was the best thing in Birds of Prey. So I would like to see her come back and get a good, a good shot at Black Canary to do that character justice and show what she's really got uh, with you know different people behind the camera. And I think that would be wonderful. And so hopefully she gets it, you know, I, I, but I think it's not going to be for a little bit. Luke, uh, Free Guy has not moved yet, as of yet, for December 2020. Remember, it's a Fox movie, although Disney did move Death on the Nile and um, King, The King's Man. So they're willing to protect Fox movies sometimes. Audie S. says, In the Heights versus West Side Story. Well, I've talked about this a little bit before, but I, I am very, very um, adamant that In the Heights should be the bigger movie because it's new and fresh, and I think that, you know, it deals with issues of today. And I feel that West Side Story, I mean, obviously none of us have seen it, but I think just doing a straight redo of the classic film seems really ridiculous in today's environment. World of Devon says, Grace, did you see the new Family Guy? I didn't see Simpsons or Family Guy. I don't watch the whole Fox animation lineup. I only watch Simpsons and Family Guy. And I was really looking forward to both of them because they're fantastic pitches. They're the log lines. They're like undercover boss for Simpsons, which is fantastic with Mr. Burns. And then they're doing uh, Stewie's first word on Family Guy. But what do you know? Football ran long as usual. And so I only got part of the show. So I'm going to have to watch them on demand because I'm not paying for them uh, with uh, commercials. And I'm pretty upset about it. Luke, be careful. Be safe. I'm sorry about that. MJC, you're not blocked. I can see you. Dancing dog's like, yay, football. Sufjan, I did see that Avatar 2 and 3 almost finished shooting. I'll be shocked if these things do well. I mean, I don't think, I mean, some people, I got to tell you, I never got Avatar. I remember I was doing audience reviews, interviews at the time, and I was talking to people about Avatar when I was, they were coming out of the theater, and they were like, it's better than Star Wars. And I was like, what? But of course, obviously being very respectful. But people really like Avatar. Remember there were some people who, hey, Justin Slater 24, remember some people were committing suicide because they couldn't go to Pandora? That was like shocking. Um, so, I, I mean, never underestimate James Cameron, although he really dinged his reputation with the last Terminator movie. It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know if you still got it, Jim. 
I don't know, Jim. I just don't know. Did I say hi to everybody? I feel like maybe I missed somebody. Somebody just joined. I'm coming back to look. Hold on. I think I got everybody. Karsten K. I don't believe I said welcome to you. Karsten K., welcome. And then who's the new person who just joined? It is moving very fast. <clears throat> this is as much as I can slow it down. Craig Logan, thank you for joining. All right. I sent a friend the other day the uh, papyrus sketch from SNL about the font for Avatar. Hilarious. Such good stuff. Let's see here. Ian says, could you do a Harry Potter Wizarding World movie ranking video? When I think the new movie comes out, I time my rankings to when the people are interested in the franchise. So whenever Fantastic Beasts 3 starts to get going, I will really start to cover Harry Potter again. Try to make sure I get enough different people's questions. Geeky Gator says, 800 is the year's highest grossing film. Can anything beat it? When was the last time a foreign film was number one? Well, you know, we think China's cheating a little bit with their numbers, so that's kind of not cool. I think that Hollywood might be like, what this year? But I don't think anything can beat it. It's just, I think movies are done in 2020. They're just done. Mika, how do you get around the five-minute uh, um, delay on commenting? I'm always amazed. Let's see here. JJ Studios, I do like The Mummy from 1999. Brendan Fraser, peak Brendan Fraser. It's great. Rachel White's before she started complaining about it. Scorpio Dan 80, Giancarlo Esposito as Xavier, uh, Charles Xavier. I could see it. I could see Giancarlo Esposito in anything. He's the best ever. I love him so much. I wish he had more to do on The Boys. There's only two episodes to go, and he's done nothing. Uh, I'm watching, re-watching Harley Quinn, the animated series, and he's Lex Luthor, and he's fabulous Lex Luthor. Uh, I'm a big Giancarlo Esposito fan. Uh, hey, Christian Martin. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Nivarod, I have not watched Normal People on Hulu. Uh, have I got, who asked me that? Who have I got? Uh, Hater says, did you get your screeners for Haunting of Bly Manor? I just emailed them today, so I hope I get them soon. I mean, I have Queen's Gambit screeners, and that doesn't come out till the end of October. Where are my blind man of screeners? Hey, Johnny Meeks. I'm waiting for my screeners. Ivan says, is the Cherry movie with Tom Holland headed directly to Apple TV? It sure is. So get ready to either pirate that or, uh, you know, or just not watch it. Hey, totally random talk. You know, for instance, nobody watched Greyhound, and that was like a really solid movie. I thought that its representation aspects were kind of unfortunate, and I thought Tom Hanks should be a little embarrassed about that, but um, everything turned out okay uh, at the end. Turk got an amazing new gig opposite Jennifer Lawrence in an uh, upcoming Adam McKay movie, so that's great. But I still think Greyhound was a pretty darn good movie, and I think people should watch it. And I feel bad that no one really did because it was on Apple TV. I did watch the, uh, the honest trailers for streaming services that you guys told me about, and I, uh, I think the movie lover really pushed it, and it was really funny. Lloyd Lester says, Grace, do you think a possible Jumanji sequel should try to get Kirsten Dunst for a major role or cameo? I think they totally should. She's fantastic. I'm a big Kirsten Dunst fan these days. I think she's really been killing it. And I think that the last Jumanji was a little subpar, so I feel like they need something to reinvigorate the franchise. Somebody just joined. Uh, Movie Madness Entertainment, welcome. I think that was, oh, Sam M, thank you for joining. Uh, who's just asked me about The Mandalorian? Terry, I will review every episode of The Mandalorian season two. I feel I should have reviewed every episode of The Boys. You know, they really mess it up when they do one through three and then they start doing, I mean, they should either do one a week or, the, or, or all at once. This like, oh, three here, two here. It's really hard. It makes it very difficult to cover. For boys, the boys season three, I will review that weekly. I, sh I think that I should have done that. Um, but it's too tough and it happens too fast. Because again, since they have the first three episodes out right away, you just zoom through the, the season anyway. So um, yeah, I, I'm, and I'm still going to do like the whole season with spoilers when it ends. But it's hard to understand. For the for all the hey Gavin thanks for joining 
for all the Star Wars Disney Plus shows and the Marvel Disney Plus shows, I will definitely be doing those. Hey, Chico in class. I will definitely be doing those weekly. Let's see here. Dancing Dog 60, it has to end on a massive cliffhanger because they already renewed it for season three and a spinoff because it's just so popular. The Geeky Gator says, is The Five Blood still your number one movie of 2020? I don't know. It's definitely up there. I really liked The Trial of the Chicago 7. I thought that was really good. And, you know, I got to tell you, I really liked Enola Holmes. Hey, Phil Layfield. That was a great movie. It's hard. I mean, it's obviously not like I wouldn't like it should be an Oscar contender or anything like that. But it was really good. Phil Layfield, you are fantastic in that Pikachu hoodie. That's a nice hoodie. I wish I would like that hoodie. Let's see here. Who just said something bad about it? Oh, yeah. No, Roy said good things about Enola. I was like, what? Lisa says her favorite is the devil all the time. That's excellent. Okay, I'll do like two more questions, and then I'll do some shout-outs. MMB, Sarah Snook for Poison Ivy, that's pretty good casting. But I think they're going to race spend the role. I would really think so. But I think Sarah Snook is a good idea. She has like that edgy, edgy quality that I think is really great with Poison Ivy. Here. I like Sarah Snook a lot. Do, 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 do. H Gaming says, Grace, have you heard anything about the rumors about Warner Brothers continuing Black Canary and HBO Max? Those are just rumors right now. I think that everybody agrees and realizes, as I said earlier in the stream, that she did a great job. But I don't there's I haven't heard anything about any actual discussion about a show for her. Johnny, I did not watch Antebellum. Uh Hey, Sid, schnoobadamoobadoo. <laughs> I think I got that right, too. That's hilarious. Oh, that's great. That's really great. Um, Ivan, we should have Kamala Khan casting, like, really soon. I mean, a lot of stuff's leaking about who they're casting in the show. Uh, it's going to be an exciting cast, largely unknowns, because, you know, they don't do a lot of shows with that, uh, with that ethnicity. So I think it's, very, uh, it's a great opportunity for those actors. Uh, Rashad, I'm so glad you're enjoying Harley Quinn. All right, let's do some shout-outs. What are you up to? Tell me what you're up to, and I'll do some shout-outs before, uh, before I have to sign off. Oh, Phil, congrats on your new job. I'm so glad you're able to co come back and be a member. I really appreciate it. Diego says, will Kathleen Kennedy renew her contract? I would be shocked if she did. I haven't heard anything about it specifically, but I think it's, I would be, it would be nuts if she renewed it. Um, Raphael says, no tea. <laughs> it's Monday. Hey, Ellen Carroll, I gave you a bunch of tea on Friday. So much tea on Friday. I was pouring tea left and right. I mean, I told you about Tom Cruise's Iron Man. And that is at, I heard from another source about Tom Cruise's Iron Man over the weekend. Like, the wheels are moving. It's not 100% going to happen, but... It's like, it's, it could possibly happen, which is incredible to me. You're thirsty, says Raphael. That's funny, Raphael. That's funny. Let's see here. Oh, the movie lover, you're on the set of Batwoman. Oh, I hope that her, um, I hope that her costume looks better. Cecilia is drinking ginger peach tea in Arizona. That sounds lovely. MJC is drinking wine and listening to you in the lounge. I got promoted today. Congratulations. Oh, you deserve a nice little break. Thanks for making me a part of it. Carson's making dinner in Germany for, before my daily video session. Oh, awesome. Excellent. Devin May is working on a wind farm in Texas. What a cool thing to do. And you're helping the environment. <coughs> That's wonderful. Waffles is trying to take practice SAT tests, but I keep getting distracted. That's funny. Hey, Christiana, my Hawkman video literally just finished rendering. So as soon as I finish what I have to hand do at 5 o'clock, I will upload it. Devin is eating meatloaf in Long Island. Oh, by the way, I watched the first episode of Fargo last night. It didn't tape the second episode, so I'm going to watch that tonight. I thought the first episode was pretty darn good with some great casting across the board. I really enjoyed it. It was a little, little, little derivative, but it was derivative of good stuff, so I didn't really care. 
Craig said I should be doing homework for college, but I'm watching your stream instead. Yay, it's early in the semester. Don't worry about it. Dino is uh, fixing uh, his iPad. Good luck. Let's see here. Oh, Mike, I'm sorry about your throat in Atlanta. Take your medicine. Make sure you're okay. Chesco loved antebellum. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad. Yeah, Jesse Buckley was great, Roy. I was like, wow, so much better than, um, than I'm thinking of ending things. She was fine there. It just wasn't a great role. Oh, Lucas, that's very sweet of you. Peyton, I'm glad you were able to make it today, too. Storm King says, do you want to see Tom Cruise in the MCU? Yeah, I think he is so much like Tony Stark himself. I think that he and Robert Downey Jr. very much seem like Tony Stark. And so it's just fabulous. MJC, I'm so glad you like being a member. Sufjan says, I was having a bad day yesterday, but movie, movie math really cheered me up. Ah, that's so sweet. I'm so glad to hear that. The Geeky Gator is in his dorm campus now with 118 COVID cases. Holy crap, wear your mask. You know, I got to tell you, you could also buy face shields. They're pretty inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. And, you know, why not? You know, it completes the ensemble with the mask. Just get a face shield and you wear it around, especially if you're indoors. I don't think you have to wear a face shield outside, but if you're in class and stuff and you have to go inside, I, you know, why not wear the face shield? They're reusable. You can just clean them off really easily. And so you just wear a mask and a face shield on top of that, and I think you'll be good. Hey, G bye, Gico. Oh, it is time. Thank you, Chris. I do have to get off on time today. That's very nice of you, Chris. Chris, you're so nice. I like that. I like when you guys match your avatars with your Twitter avatars because I really know how well how who you are. So I know Chris quite well because I see him on Twitter too. Morris says Punisher mood uh, with 1010 movie was made. I don't quite get that, but I like the mask in your avatar, and I know who Morris is too. All right, guys, I really do have to go. You guys are so great. Rashad got a call back for the job interview. Woohoo! All right, you guys are absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to try and do uh, all the streams this week. Uh, Thursdays, though, it's going to look like it's going to have to be moved to Friday. Uh, but uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. But I'm really working to get these streams up. And as you can see, I made sure we got a stream today. All right, bye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.